Good morning, everybody. If you thought the picnic table was fun, wait till you see the truck box. Today is going to be a surprise field trip for the truck box. And we're going to do a series of wall exercises that I like to do. So we're going to start off uh, with the shoulders. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our good posture, remember all the balance points, and line up. Here's how we're going to stretch today. Side profile, good profile, good posture. Arm behind, parallel or slightly downward. Get right up against there, and then I'm pushing the shoulder back this way. It opens up over here. First 10 seconds, nice and easy. Next 10 to 20 seconds, the developmental phase of the stretch. First 10 seconds, make sure everything's lined up, then stretch. A good stretch feels good, and it's easy to hold. Let's go to the other side because we want to maintain our balance. Here it is. Good posture. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Morning, Milo. And relax. Now then, let's go overhead. And if you've had rotator cuff, you may not like putting your hands up. Remember, pain, sure it's fun for me to watch you suffer. However, pain is a sign something is wrong. This is not a no pain, no gain. If something hurts, don't do it. I shouldn't have to tell you that. Good posture, up overhead, right up here. Oh yeah, that's a good stretch. and a release. I get that nice sensation of relaxation when I'm done. Other side, here we go. Big exhale. stretches that there are I believe this is for the gastrocnemius and the Achilles tendon and the hip flexors called the runner's stretch. I'm going to turn my back to you, apologize. Here we are, good posture, arms against the truck box, left foot forward, right foot back, they're still lined up, I still have the good posture, leaning forward on the front heel or front, uh, lunging or forward in front. The rear heel with the foot pointed straight ahead is down here. Knee is straight and I can feel that in the gastrocnemius and my Achilles tendon. And I'm also getting a dorsiflexion of the ankle. First 10 seconds easy, then stretch. Particularly nice after cardio hiking or running or jogging. Here we go, other side. The key is to keep the rear heel flat, the knee straight, lunge forward, and relax. Now if one side's good, here's two, we're going to do the double, and I like this one because it gets the hip flexors. If you've been seated down at those nerd machines too long, you got to get back up here and stretch these hip flexors. Both feet flat, again against the wall. Both heels are flat. And let that hip sink forward towards the wall. And relax. Again, those are great. Now, here's the treat. This is your reward today for your breathing. And this is something I've shown you and a lot of you really liked it. It's really good for these one-way valves in your legs. Those are the ones that keep your blood from just all going down there. So they need a little rest as well. This is good for varicose veins, things of that nature. I'm going to do this. I'm going to sit as close as I can. 
bring my legs up over the top and here I am now this is also a good lazy man's way to stretch the hamstrings relax the quads the hamstrings now I'm going to do my breathing deep breathing Oh, this feels good. Now I can go wide. Feel that on the abductors and the adductors. These are the adductors. These are the abductors. And I'm relaxing. I can move back a little bit and stretch them down this way, kind of push down here a little bit. And I just stay here all day and relax. It really makes your legs feel good, gets all that blood running back down this way. Now, here's something I'm going to show you guys that don't like push ups because when we do our strength exercise, I like to break the body into three parts upper body, core, lower body. So here's a couple more things for your strengthening exercises. First of all, if you're too uncomfortable doing push-ups or you don't like them, do them against the wall here. Plank body just like you would. Keep the, Don't let the hips sink out. Plank body. You do your push-ups here because you're still toning those upper bodies. Here's the other ones you want to do. Wall stand. This is a Pilates wall stand. The head's pinned. Arms are here. 90 degrees if you can. If you've had orthopedic issues and that's uncomfortable. That is a Pilates wall stand. That's a static contraction. An uh, isometric uh, stretch where the body is not changing directions. You're just simply contracting the muscles. Now watch, here's my next favorite strengthener after push-ups, squats without weight. So I go into this squatting position, keeping the knees back. There's your squats without weights. So we got our upper body push-ups, we got our squats without weights, and I'm going to give you a whole nother section on core because core is so important and we have to move both frontally and rotationally. So one of these sessions is going to be a complete session on core. So remember, squats without weights, wall stands, and push-ups. Finish up, lying on your back, breathing with the legs in the air. You're going to love it. Have a good workout. See you soon. It's surf trunk day. We went surf trunks today. It's going to be warm. I like it. It's a good look.